I got in hot water uh, about a year ago because all of a sudden I was this lightning rod regarding the marijuana discussion. And I was looking at data that showed that if you have something like, I think it's 42 grams of marijuana or less, it's a petty misdemeanor. If you have more than 46 grams, it's a felony for which you can go to prison and be incarcerated. That seemed like a huge difference for four grams. But what really disturbed me was that if you were found with just a trivial amount more than 42 grams, the number of those people that were white or black was such and such. But if you were black, the chances that the full force of the law would come down on you and you might be incarcerated were way higher. And I said, well, this is wrong. Yeah, that's right. So bad. I said, let's talk about decriminalizing it and let's make it more sensible. And I think Mike Freeman, the uh, Hennepin County attorney, said the same thing. And I thought, yeah, I think he's right. And then I also said, and for that 18 to 21 year old kid who makes a dumb move or mistake and has this trivial amount and wasn't selling it and was just experimenting, do we really need to have it on their record for the next 10 years? So I just wanted to talk about those things and that got me in hot water. I don't support recreationally legalizing marijuana. If we're going to do that, I think the whole state of Minnesota should decide that. I don't know why you'd have 200 people decide it, yeah. but that's another day down the road. Yeah. But I just think that this is what's wrong with politics today. We're so darn concerned about winning our next election and potentially offending voters or donors. Those are the two things, donors and voters, that we avoid the crucial conversations.